A corporation's annual earnings are subject to federal income tax. But what if the corporation's right to certain earnings is disputed? In North American Oil Consolidated v. Burnett, we explore how such a dispute impacts a corporation's tax liability. In 1916, North American Oil Consolidated operated several properties. The United States was the title holder of one property and had filed a suit to oust Consolidated. A receiver was appointed to hold any income from the property pending the dispute's resolution. Consequently, Consolidated didn't receive the profits from its 1916 operations in 1916 and therefore didn't include them in its 1916 tax return. In 1917, the court ruled in favor of Consolidated, and the receiver paid Consolidated the net profits from 1916. The government unsuccessfully appealed, with the final appeal dismissed in 1922. After receiving payments in 1917, Consolidated filed an amended 1916 tax return, including the relevant profits. But the Commissioner of Internal Revenue, David Burnett, asserted that the profits were taxable to Consolidated when it received them in 1917, a year in which the corporate tax rate was significantly higher. Before the Board of Tax Appeals, Consolidated argued that the profits were taxable either to the receiver or Consolidated in 1916, the year in which they accrued, or to Consolidated in 1922, when the government's final appeal was dismissed. The Board of Tax Appeals held that the profits were taxable to the receiver as 1916 income. But the Ninth Circuit held that they were taxable to Consolidated when received by the company in 1917. The United States Supreme Court granted cert. In 